Hi, I'm Adam and I'm a wheelchair skills trainer for WizKids, here today teaching you about safety while using your wheelchair. If you go up a drop curve fast, you'll end up breaking your front casters, okay? So my advice to you would be, when you're, when you're crossing a road, decrease your speed ever so slightly before you go up the other end. So it's not taking as much of an impact. Because if you think, if you keep going up drop curbs fast, the front casters is taking a whack each time. So just decrease your speed slightly, just to take the edge off the bump up. I look to the right and look to the left. I have my chair out of slant so I can go. But I notice, yeah, that if I'm going across, I'll need to straighten my chair up to, to go up. You've got to pick where the best place, all right? But you see that this is a bump. So you slow down and then you put the power in it to get the back wheels over. But you wouldn't cross, you wouldn't go up here. You would go up where you're standing because where you're standing is flatter. Whatever the gradient and how steep a drop curb is or a ramp, it is important to feel balanced in your wheelchair and comfortable while driving. Most powered wheelchairs are rear wheel drive. So when going up and down and drop curbs, you have to find your own center of balance. And you have to be aware that if it's wheel wheel drive, then the most of the weight of the wheelchair is going to be at the back. What I found when I'm going up and down drop curbs um, depending on the gradient and how steep they are, is sometimes I'll recline my chair back because then when I go down a drop curb, when I'm going down it, I'm still sitting at a normal height. Even if you've got a belt on, you get a bit nervous. So to have more confidence in driving around, going up, going down drop curbs, depending on how steep they are, and depending on how confident you are, I would recline back to have a little bit more confidence. That's all from me. Thank you for watching this video.